What's good YouTube, it's me Jaffe Bear. Today's video is a special one. Before I introduce you guys to this guy, he's been an inspiration and he should be an inspiration to you guys. Remember how I've always been saying to follow your dreams? Not only is he following his dreams, but he's killing it. Without further ado, I want you guys to meet Michael from MP's Cheesecake, AKA Mr. Make Your Tongue Dance, AKA Most Prolific Cheesecake. Oh, where am I? Are you, are you okay to film? Were you, were you whipping up some cakes? Bro, I'm whipping up some cakes, man. So you can do the video? I mean, I even know how I got here. I'm gonna do the video. All right, all right, video. all right. So here we got Michael from MP Cheesecake. Let's let's go, let's go. <laughs> Before we start the video, I want to ask him a couple questions for you guys just to know him personally. Not only you know the food is good, but you know the person behind the company. So speak about your cake. Like, MP Cheesecake, most prolific. This is just driven on passion. <laughs> love for food, love for people, customer service, and just doing your own thing. So first question, what's your most popular flavor? Most popular? Yeah. Oreo is the one. Uh, I think it's the Hershey's chocolate inside of it. I don't know. Yeah. No matter what, Oreo cheesecake is always safe. That's yeah. like, a, it hits home, you know what I'm saying? It reminds me of a McFlurry, so I can only imagine how people 100%. feel about it. What's the most sold? I'm gonna have to say Oreo one more time. Oreo? It's just a universally safe one. Like, that's different. the one that people see and they're like, I gotta get one of those. Yeah, yeah. we're safe. So dealing that way you do with a lot of flavors, what's your personal favorite? That way at least you can mm -hmm. give someone who's never tried this before a recommendation. Personal favorite? Dunkaroo. Dunkaroo is yeah. one that nobody has. Yeah. You guys know Dunkaroo when we were kids, that it was busted. Recess, I didn't eat the sandwich. Just pass me Dunkaroos, <laughs> let me get my sugar rush and go back to class. That's all we have to do. Yeah, if you guys know Michael, he was on a different sugar rush when we were here. Yeah, so I can only imagine what sugar. Here's another question, Michael, you ready? What do you enjoy most about making these cheesecakes? What I enjoy most, I would say the people, the yeah. reactions, the love you get. More times, there are nights where I go to bed at 2 a.m., yeah. sleep until about 5, and wake up at 6. Yeah, I have yeah, no yeah. energy, but the love, the support, the people motivating you to keep on going to do your thing, it just it gives you energy. Yeah, it pushes you forward because even 100%. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't want to stop. You always need a little validation in order for you to keep pushing. That's right. Sometimes it, it comes in the form of just a yo, you, this is busting. 100. You know what I'm saying? A smile I on my face. You. you know what I'm saying? This so, is the best I've ever had in my life. I feel you. So yo, do you have any new flavor coming out? Actually on July 1st, I dropped Reese's Pieces. Ooh. I'm sorry to those men who are allergic to peanuts. I'm yeah. gonna pray for you. Because you might swell up his neck. I'm sorry, but this is a banger. Once a month, every first of every month, I'm trying to release a new flavor until about 2021. In 2021, I'll have a set menu of the top 10 flavors. And those flavors are gonna change depending on how much cakes are sold or popularity. So That's it's true. never gonna be really a set menu. It's gonna be depending on what you guys like. Yeah, you may need your EpiPen before ordering the oh, reason for sure we're gonna keep the peanuts far away from the people yeah, yeah. Like, you know what i'm saying we're not gonna yeah. risk it do you see yourself opening up a shop in the next future 100 percent. why not 100 percent. you know what i'm saying i love to cook first baking is something i fell into mm -hmm. just out of the blue mm -hmm. just exploring and having fun but definitely i want to get back into cooking i want to specialize in brunch french toast sure. is my specialty you guys don't even know about that one man i'm not gonna say nothing all right so we got these questions down we're gonna put the chef in his kitchen in his natural habitat so for you guys to see how he makes them we won't give you guys the full sauce, but you know what I'm saying? We'll give you a little a taste. A little taste. A little, a little taste. taste. You know what I'm saying? Not even a taste, a lick. A lick. Like a lick. A little bit. But yo, we'll be back. All right, so what's the first step, Michael? The first step to making cheesecake is the cream cheese. Baby. What it do, baby? Yeah, yo, what do you know? So how long does it usually take you to make a, guess, a batch? My oven's kind of small. I would say, I would say two hours. About two hours per so, 24. Yeah. Not nah, bad, you know what I'm saying? So it's not bad, yeah. So right over here, I gotta soften up the cheese. Before you make it, you leave it at room temperature. It's easier to cook with. And also the flavor is different when it's more sad room temperature. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, so Michael's starting to make the cheesecakes. He's right now, he's just gonna whip it up. I'll show you guys a little clips here and there. We don't wanna give you guys the full sauce because you know, there's some impastas inside this world. Thanks, fam. But for now, obviously without cheesecake, you would need to have sugar, so we can expose that. But <laughs> don't tell nobody. <laughs> Get that sugar mix in. So you gotta stop, you gotta scrape the sides of the ball. You gotta do it. You gotta get everything mixed up. And that's on this one, fam. You know what it is? That Walmart, that Walmart extract. Don't even. It's a little special. Little bit, little bit. No, I don't watch that, I don't watch that. We added some other stuff, but obviously that's a secret recipe. So for now, you guys get just three ingredients and that's it. Mm -mm. If you want to find out what, what else, order some. 
and try to taste them up. You see, when it starts to bubble, you gotta slow down. It means you're over mixing. Over mixing affects the way it cooks. You just wanna, you know, mix it enough until the ingredients are mixed in, but not completely mixed. In. Yes, sir! Let me see this. Thank you, guys. I'm gonna have to reevaluate everything. That's good stuff. I can't lie. Yeah, honey made graham cracker. That's like this stuff, man. Right now, he's gotta process the graham cracker, get it to a nice consistency so I can lay a base for my cheesecake. That's my foundation right there. Graham cracker at the bottom, baby. Taste test this, make sure everything is cool, like not too sweet, you know what I mean? Let me see what's going on. Nashi, can you try this for me? I want you to try that. Yeah, yeah I'll give it a try. Now mix, cha. All right, I'm gonna give this a try. Let's see how it is. Mm. Let's go. Not gonna lie, Go. if that part is good, I can only imagine the rest. Last but not least, we gotta put the <laughs> lower helper, just your baked pastries to rise, to get good, you know, volume. You gotta get that. That brown sugar, it sweets everything up. Leva. So I know it's ready after I hit two holes, go. That's three. Good as hell. That's right. So this is for the this is for the crust. Butter gives you a hole. It helps the food stick together. When I give it a base for the cheesecakes, you want a nice layer that's gonna be firm, it's not gonna fall apart, but just be chewy when you're eating it. Mm. So here we go. Room temperature, like I always say, helps the process go a little bit faster. Yes, sir. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Melted butter, low process. A little mix, you know what I'm saying? Make sure the butter gets everything. We don't want no dry crust in here. It's the finished stuff right here. Um, just try it, man. Just try it. All right, all right. So this is like right before it puts it in the tray. Oh, dude. Wow, that's actually nice. No cap. You got a little something in your beard. You got a little something in your beard. You did too. <laughs> that boy said, "Oh no, 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 no." That's the Cookie Monster. The What's cookie, going on? The Cookie Monster. Cookie. Um, nom 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 nom. Oh, nom 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 nom. That's not even the best part. It's not the best part. Stop playing with. Let's play my customer now. Give myself that base, that foundation. I use a scoop for precision. You want every cake to come out with an equal level. Press. I gotta press them in. I like this. It's that Betty Crocker scoop, there you know. Okay, let's get some cake batter inside. This is the Reese's Pieces. You drop July 1st. If you're not allergic to nuts, this is the one, man. So, you know, I gotta get some Oreos, gotta chop some Oreos. I'm just mixing the ingredients right now. I don't want it to be too much of Oreo cheesecake, but my cheesecake with Oreos inside. We got the first batch out. It's half Oreo, half Reese's. That person got a dozen. Obviously, they love chocolate. Here we go. Batch number two. Let's go. So, what's the temperature you set them at? I can't tell you. So, he said, well, that. Every single cheesecake you get is hand assembled by me. The energy, it's all for you guys. So this right here right now, I'm doing Dunkaroo. It's a pumpkin spice cookie crumble. I think when it mixes in with the cheesecake, you get that nice sweet and that seasoned contrast. Right over here, we got an original. We're gonna keep it plain. This is one of my most underrated flavors. People just, they go crazy for it. They try the original and they're like, I'm shook. I'm gonna Oreo on top of there. Gotta get that Hershey's in there. Finishing touch. Top three flavors. Sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. We got some cakes already made. We're gonna try to get some reviews, get people to, you know, drop their opinion, ratings on it, get some reactions, and then we'll get back to you guys on that.
All right, so I'm gonna give you guys my opinion on it. I'm gonna be fair. I do not like cheesecake, so I'm gonna give Michael a shot. I know he won't disappoint me, but let's give it a shot. So this one we got is the Oreo. So we'll give it a shot here. Wow, yo, when I tell you, it's actually not that sweet. It's like, it's like a perfect balance. It's like sweet and savory at the same time. Wow, this is actually hitting. Holy, I can only imagine other flavors. Too bad I only have one, but we'll give out the rest to people and we'll see how it goes. All right, I'll see you guys soon. All right, so here we got- Arthur, my name is Arthur. All right, so have you ever tried these cakes before? Never. I even don't know you, bro. All right, okay, so here's his first time trying it. I'm gonna try that one. That one looks good. It's good. <laughs> It's from, how is it? How is it's good, it? Good, bro. It's good. It's good. I like. It. All right. So that's one down. That. My boy. He, I'll give you the IG later, and you can. Uh, yeah. You can hire him. So good, bro. Is it actually? Wow. So good, man. This is no cap. Be honest. I'm gonna. I'm be honest. I'm gonna order right now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So that's the first customer. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, here we go. Rosalia. All right, so she hasn't tried this before, so we'll give her a... It's the Dunkaroo flavor. How is it? Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, so good. Mmm, so good and tasty. Mmm, really, really good. Wow, love it. Wow. All right, so we'll give her the IG, so that's two for two so far. Well, three for three so far. May you may order. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Okay, all right. So that's the Dunk Crew. So what's the rating? Honestly, you want me to be honest? Yeah, yeah. A 10. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. So on to the next one. All right, so here we got Cardo. All right, so it's his first time also. Yeah, I don't really eat um, dessert much, but uh, what is this supposed to be again? So it's a cheesecake. Not too big into dessert, but see how it goes. That's interesting. So how do you like it? I don't eat cheesecake, but this is good. It's actually good. Would you ever order it in the- f Yeah, I know for sure. My folks back at home are gonna love this. So out of one to 10, what would you give this a rating of? Nine. All right, that's fair, that's fair. Once again, y'all, MP's Cheesecakes, had to get another batch. And he does it again. <laughs> sharing, not sharing with my family. Yeah, these are so blessed. So good. I want that tr God fucking damn, bro. Sh Jeez. Deliver, support local businesses. All right, guys. So you guys got the review on it. If you guys want to order some cakes, MP's Cheesecake on Instagram. That's MPS Cheesecakes with an S. DM me. I got you guys. We'll get you guys settled. We'll get you guys nice. For sure, for sure. How much are they? Like, let them know some details. I'll start you guys off. Six cakes, any flavors you want. 20 bucks. We got Cinnamon Toast Crunch. We got Dunkaroo. We got Reese's. Jeez. We got... We got everything we got you need. Flavor. We got flavor. Tell them, flavor. tell them, tell them. Every single day, there's challenges. There's adversity. There's problems you're gonna have to face. Go through it. You just can't give up, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even close to where I wanna be yet, and I can't stop. I don't care that I'm not sleeping enough. I don't care that I'm not eating enough. Like, when you want it that bad, you can't stop until you get it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all chase your dreams. I see you young entrepreneurs. All the black entrepreneurs, I see you. Black Lives Matter. BLM all the way. You know what I'm saying? Local businesses, small businesses. I see you guys. Hit me up. We're trying to collaborate. If you're trying to, you know, do some. So, yo, comment rate subscribe let me know if you guys want to try this out so order them let me know if you got huh? tall as hell yeah, I know. Let me know how it tasted. I know your mouth's gonna Fine. be dancing. I'm sure you're already mouth watering by now because we've been showing you guys some crazy flavors. I got you. I got you. Don't forget to use Jaffe Bear as a discount code. What? Chill, chill, yeah, chill, so chill. Just use that one. Chill, chill. 